There's nothing more important than us managing for floods and making sure that we don't overtop our levee capacity. And if we don't release water when we're prescribed by the Corps of Engineers, we can be in a position where we have to release a lot more than the levees downstream can release, and that does nobody any good. What we can release out of Folsom far exceeds the downstream levee capacity. Uh, when we're at that point, it's save the structure. Uh, but that being said, we can certainly match the downstream levy capacities and we would continue to coordinate with local officials on anything that would approach that capacity of the downstream levees. As far as what the capacity of uh, Folsom Reservoir is, it's a, a million acre feet. So it's one of the, uh, it's a relatively small reservoir when compared to some of Reclamation's ICON facilities, but it's really important because it does provide protection to the capital of California as well as uh, over a million people in, uh, that live downstream. So they got to look at how much could potentially come in the Folsom, how much storage room we have in the Folsom, and then with that, what do we need to release over a certain number of days to make sure that we don't encroach too far in our flood control uh, space and certainly never overtop the dam. So they're always looking forward to what are those volumes gonna be like? Are we setting ourselves up in a good position for those future ones? Our Central Valley Operations is coordinating with uh, Department of Water Resources, as well as local uh, emergency response agencies uh, and things like that on what's happening there. Uh, like in this particular last one, uh, storm event, uh, we had to coordinate evacuations with the county OES and the fire uh, chief for the Sacramento County and, and all those things. So those all have to be taken into account as we uh, make any, either changes or hold our releases at a certain amount. Uh, because if there is an issue maybe on the levees or some downstream and we have to consider changing our releases, then that's going to affect reservoir elevation. And, and when we get to certain reservoir elevations out at CCAO, now we have to monitor the dams and dikes to make sure they're performing as intended. This year, what's different is we've had a very wet December on par with last year and a little bit better, but we're seeing these uh, low pressure systems stack out in the Pacific. So that gives us hope that as long as we can manage for our flood management, we're gonna realize uh, uh, that snowpack and that inflow to help us into this next conservation year.